Hi, Dawn here from Dawn's Earthly Delights and Wildcrafted Botanicals. It is March. It is the beginning of the planting season. We're getting ready to do our tomato trays. And today's video is going to focus on planting your tomato trays. Now the reason why I do this in March is because I need them to get big enough that when I start bringing them outside to what's called harden off, which means it acclimates from a grow light light spectrum to the outdoor sunlight, I need it to be warm enough and they need to be big enough to be able to sustain themselves and not get damaged by any kind of cold temperature. So today is March 3rd. I am going to start my plantings. I have gone ahead and labeled my, um, my sticks that I use in the ground. I like the heart shaped ones because it kind of conveys love. I've gone ahead and prepped these trays with little circles and this is how I do it. I just take a toothpick and I run a little round thing in. I just make kind of a circle. I don't go too deep. And then my trays are prepped for the seed for me to be able to plant the seeds. <clears throat> so I have these are all brand new trays. I wanted to get new trays so that one, they're clean and they don't have any kind of mold or, or leftover dirt from last year on them. But in the future, if you are reusing your trays, just go ahead and give them a quick rinse with some warm soapy water, let them dry completely, and then you can start adding your dirt. Now this dirt is specifically for raised garden beds. It's um, a new dirt that I'm trying this year. It has things like bat guano and worm castings and perlite in it already. And one of the things perlite does is it helps break up your soil and it helps for aeration pro uh, pro purposes, excuse me. So this one that we're gonna do, this is an heirloom organic seed. It is a beefsteak variety. And the beefsteak varieties are really, really large. And they're, they're, um, they're slicing tomatoes. You can put them on your hamburgers. You can just eat them sliced with um, your food on a plate. A little bit of salt, a little bit of olive oil. It's delicious. Now, I find it easier for myself to use tweezers when I'm seeding my trays. My dexterity is not what it used to be. So this just makes it simpler. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby for doing like bedazzling things and silly things like that but it works wonders so because I already have my hole prepped and ready I'm just gonna go ahead and when I'm picking out my seeds I'm looking for ones that are really good sized um, they don't look like they're covered um, in some weird leftover membrane they're just really good looking nice sized seeds I do tend to go for the biggest ones as long as they're not stuck together. If you get more than one seed in your in your hole, that's okay. Don't worry about it. You can pull that later, one of them later. Um, you have to do it carefully though so as not to damage the roots of any other ones, any other um, your seedlings in there. Then I'm just gonna fill my tray up and I have this is my third tray so I'm gonna have a lot of tomatoes this year you want to do at least double what you want to actually plant because some of your tomato plants may not survive for live viewers tell them what you're planting again oh we are this one this particular variety is a heirloom beefsteak and I have as you can see my this is the, the section that I'm gonna do it in. And there's 12 seeds total. There's I'm using 12 spaces. Um, I'm doing a lot because- Sarah Miracle uh, shared your video. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much. And so this is some of the stuff we're gonna be doing in our March class. I'm going to explain all the soil components, what soil is necessary, uh, the root structure of the plants that we're planting. We're actually going to do some planting in our garden um, during Yummy that time. Yummy Capri salad. <laughs> indeed, indeed. And this variety is called the Dixie Golden Giant. Okay. This is going to match the label that I have and we're just going to again plant a row of these 
So I'm going to share some of these with my neighbors. Some of these I will have for sale or to give away to um, friends or neighbors that are in need. My neighbors and I, we tend to swap out seeds. We do a bunch of different seeds and then we swap them out with each other. and. Um, we look to see how they do in our garden spaces and where we have our garden spaces, what kind of sun exposure those garden spaces have, and we try to track that from year after year to see where they did the best, why we think they did the best that way. Most of my tomatoes will be in a hoop house, but I will have someone or some, some of them out in the open, just open pollinating. And that's great too. Now, once I've done <clears throat> my sections, I'm gonna very lightly tamp it down. I don't wanna compress it too much because I don't want it to be too hard for that seed leaf to come up. And I'm just gonna use the tip of my finger and I'm gonna do it very carefully. Right. And then afterwards, I'm gonna give it a spritz with some water. I don't wanna over water right now. I just want it enough. I want it to be damp enough that it can start the germination process. I have a heated seed mat that I use, and I'll actually do a video on that in just a little bit. And then I'm gonna give it a spritz of water. I use a mister because it, it evenly distributes the water better without, you know, if you pour water onto it, sometimes the force of that water can cause your seed to move and I want it to be more dead center so that, um, so that the root hits the whole length of the container instead of like being off to the side and then creating um, strange little rootlets. Which in a tomato, a tomato is more forgiving because the tomato has the primary tap root but then it produces a tremendous amount of lateral roots and so one of the things you do when your tomato is big enough and you have your hole and you're ready to put it into your ground you put it in at an angle and you bury it further up on the plant and I have a video from last year that explains that and it's because that whole stem can actually produce more lateral roots and when you bury it super deep like that it actually helps that root ball become more, um, develop more roots and it anchors that plant better. And a tomato's root ball can go, depending on your tomato variety, it can go as far as two feet deep, but it can also spread as far as two feet wide. And you want a really good tomato root ball because you want really good fruit and you want it to be anchored properly. And we've had an issue with high winds a couple of times a year, so I want to keep the tomatoes um, more anchored and stronger. Sorry, we have a plane up ahead, so I'm gonna have to speak a little bit louder. It's that time of year, the planes are out, it's a beautiful day. So today is March 3rd. I'm going to do all my tomato seedlings today, and in two weeks, I'm gonna actually start my neighbor's tomato seedlings for her, and that's how we create our, our um, this beautiful community that we have going on. It's a community of helping each other out and helping each other up. And we just do trade outs like that. We just do it out of the goodness of our heart and that's how we build our community and that's how we're gonna change the world a little bit at a time by just being more giving and loving and helpful to each other. So to, that is today's, today's video on getting your seeds started. You wanna do these before your last frost date. Our last frost date isn't until April, I think it's the 26th or I could be remembering that wrong. I'll get back to you on that. I believe it's April 26th. So these, when I have them on my germination mat, because it keeps my soil temperature between 75 and 80 degrees, it's actually gonna help that, it's gonna shorten that germination process, so they're gonna germinate a lot faster because the, the soil's gonna be warmer, so these should start popping up in about six to eight days. It's actually that quick, and I will track this periodically with pictures, and um, I will show you the progression and then after I'm done with my starts I'm gonna move them to the shelf above underneath the grow light and then I'm gonna start my my neighbors tomatoes and green peppers on that germination seed mat and we'll do another video on that later so look for me on YouTube it's under Dawn's Earthly Delights it's up and running 
I am on Steam It. The, my handle there is at Dawn Church, the number three, and I'm on Steam It there. You can find me there. And continue to watch for my videos on Facebook, and I will see you soon. March 24th is the first class. It starts at 9.30 in the morning, and we will be done around 5.30, 6 o'clock. We'll see how long it goes if you have a ton of questions. There are still spots available. Go ahead and sign up now. Just go ahead and put that you're going on the class and send me a message, and I will reach out to everybody that's um, for certain going. For certain going, sorry. <laughs> And I will see you on the March 24th class. I look forward to you. Get dressed for the weather. We're gonna get dirty and we're gonna have so much fun. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.